So we're talking now about the forehand, and one of the most feared shots in the women's game is the Petra Kvitova left-handed forehand, which is such an incredible strike, Matt. It's what won her, her second Wimbledon title last year. So what is it about that shot that's so special? Well, I think, first of all, you mentioned it, she's left-handed. Mm. And most players try to play to their opponent's backhand side. Of course, against Kvitova, that doesn't work because that is her forehand. But I think the consistency in the strike, and I think that has to do with the fact that she hits the ball in the middle of a racket so often. She does it on both sides, backhand as well. Uh, when she plays well, she might be the only player that actually can beat Serena Williams when Serena Williams plays her best tennis. Uh, and a lot has to do with the forehand. But in last year's Wimbledon in the finals against Eugenie Bouchard, she hardly missed any forehands either. Sometimes she can be a little inconsistent, but when she's confident and she hits it, uh, she hits it well, I think it's the cleanest strike uh, of a tennis ball, I think, in the whole women's game. And it's quite a big swing, isn't it? It is. She can, and I think that's the difference too. She can actually spin it a little bit. And when you can spin it a little bit, you can hit it cross court or you can hit it down the line. And I think that the difference, sometimes in the women's game, their backhands are usually better than the forehands because you need strength to be able to hit topspin on the forehand. And Kvitova has such good timing that she can actually have a little bit of variety on the forehand side. But I think it's the pace that she beats most players with and pace you know that is usually comes from hitting the ball in the middle of your racket and is it for her the fact that she likes to get that first strike in the way a Lindsay Davenport did out there on the court and also her court positioning in terms of where she meets the ball uh, trying to take that ball in front of her all the time yeah she's very I mean she's extremely aggressive mm -hmm. and it's not that easy to do because she's quite tall uh, and, and mobility is most probably her weakness but she still uh, elects to play uh, from a very aggressive position and yes she needs to get the first strike in and that usually happens off of the forehand side because we're a creature of habit in tennis and, and you, you sort of oh I shouldn't be playing to her forehand side but I like to hit my forehand down the line to the ad court but against Kvitova you're gonna have to change that because if you if she gets rhythm on the forehand side then you're in deep trouble yeah and it seems as if a lot of the players can't read where that shot is going either because she can go up the line or cross court but it's very well disguised as well yes it is and, and she doesn't hit that many shots because she hits the ball so hard so you better anticipate it but when she hits it that hard you have to go a little bit early and you sort of have to do a little bit of guesswork just like when you receive a, a hard first serve so if Kvitova's forehand works, then uh, she has a good chance of defending her title. She certainly does. So there you have it, the Petra Kvitova forehand, one of the most feared shots in the women's game.